Welcome back to this series of Black Hat Fast Chats. Terry Sweeney here for Black Hat, and I'm joined now by Brianna Letty, Director of Analytics for Darktrace. Brianna, thanks for joining us for this Fast Chat. Glad you could join us today. Thank you. Um, Darktrace is plugged into more than 5,500 customer networks uh, from just about every industry imaginable. Talk about some of the, the threat trends that you've seen, particularly in the last six months. Yeah, so I think we can't really talk about threat trends without, of course, touching on ransomware as one of the biggest threats we've seen facing everyone. Sure. And I think what we're seeing with the recent attacks especially is that it targets organizations of all sizes and in every industry. It's essentially no one is, is safe from ransomware attacks. And I think these attacks often get by other security defenses because of a few reasons. Uh, first, they typically use living off the land techniques, abusing common administrative tools, compromising you know, administrative credentials in order to move laterally through an environment and ideally blend in to what might be existing normal traffic. Um, on top of that, these threats are often pretty fast moving. They operate outside of standard business hours in many cases, again, just making it harder and harder for security teams to actually contain these threats as they occur. So it seems like ransomware has uh, gotten a lot stealthier. Maybe maybe we should rename it stealthware. <laughs> yeah, and I think we're also seeing those, those new tactics, right, with double extortion, not only encrypting files, but also exfiltrating data and holding that for ransom. I think that brings a whole new level of fear, especially to organizations dealing with sensitive information, intellectual property, or uh, PII data. That's a whole nother reason to bring companies back to the negotiating table for these ransomware actors. The, the dynamics you're pointing to help us understand a bit more the, the interest from the customer side and certainly from the vendor side um, around zero trust uh, with policies and strategies that that basically uh, treat every every user, every every presence on the network um, the same and uh, accepting the perimeter as, as, as less definable. How does the dark trace solution complement this approach? So exactly as you said, zero trust moves the focus from the perimeter and rather it assumes breach. And I think self-learning AI is an essential tool to complement this because it learns what's normal for a specific organization. What do your devices, your users, your applications normally do? What does that look like? What is normal for your unique environment? And then it can work to detect, flag, and respond to any activity that may be unusual, that may indicate a threat. Um, it allows you to kind of have that more layered approach to security, knowing that you may not catch every breach that makes its way through the perimeter, but how can we detect the other indicators that something malicious is present within an environment and how can we protect our organization against that? So you're using aberrations basically as a barometer of, hey, something might be up over in this section of the network. Exactly. Learning that that sense of self, like a human immune system, you know, we know that our skin protects us from a lot of threats out there. But what about the viruses that get into our immune system? And it's responding to that exactly in that same manner. Well, that's a timely analogy, um, especially as we start moving back to offices and uh, whatever the, the new normal that we're, we're going to be moving toward. Um, this, this, of course, brings us to, to phishing and other email attacks that, that are every company's and every CISO's uh, concern and often nightmare. Um, what trends and attacker patterns are, are you seeing and um, how do you encourage organizations to stay protected from this threat vector? So in terms of current trends, I think what we're seeing is just even more convincing spear phishing attacks. Um, especially as attackers start to leverage AI on the offensive side. So with the power of AI, attackers can convincingly mimic an individual's communication style, their, their choice of words, even their language in ways that 
was not possible uh, with, you know, kind of the previous wave of phishing attacks that we've seen. And these new ones can fool even the most security minded users, making things like uh, supply chain attacks and spear phishing even more powerful. So I think that when you come up against AI powered attacks, there's really a need for AI powered defense. You know, attackers are constantly changing their techniques. They're evading these existing security solutions that say, what is good, what is bad? And at Darktrace, we really ask, you know, does this belong? Does it fit with that individual's pattern of communication? Does it fit in the rest of the email environment? And in that, highlight those subtle deviations from normal that, again, could indicate that something is bad, that, that same self-learning approach that we just talked about. Um, so uh, tell us a bit more, if you would, uh, about the uh, latest research and development projects that might be going on behind the scenes at Darktrace. Um, what, what kinds of technologies are you guys working with? Uh, AI, of course, is hot, but I'm sure it's not the only part of the picture. Yeah, and at Darktrace, historically, we've been focused a lot on the detection and response pieces. But, you know, because our heart is at self-learning AI, you know, where can we take that further? And so a lot of the focus of our development team right now is how we can work to prevent and predict threats through the use of AI-powered red teaming. So red teaming is something that, you know, is, is typically a human intensive task, even with some of the automation that's present now. And with the power of AI, these tests can be run continuously, autonomously, uh, evolve to a specific organization's risk and their specific environment, and really do all of this at, at machine speed and scale. So. I'm really excited for, for this aspect of our, our self-learning platform come out. And we have a vision to create a full self-learning loop as well, bringing in a heal aspect to it so that we can kind of get that whole uh, prediction of an attack, but then what do we do when an attack occurs and how do we manage that after an attack occurs? So I think there's some really great, great work out of our Cambridge R&D team right now. Right. Well, anything that automates defense is going to be uh, music to the ears of, of, of most CISOs and security professionals. Um, Brianna, great perspectives today. Thanks, thanks for joining us for this Fast Chat. Thank you. This has been Terry Sweeney for Black Hat Fast Chat. We've been joined by Brianna Letty of Darktrace. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>